Hunvald proposes self-sustaining prisons to cut costs and foster rehabilitation. In a pointed critique of current practices, newly appointed Minister of Correctional Services Peter Hunvald has voiced strong concerns about the misuse of taxpayers' money within the prison system. Known for his forthright approach, Hunvald has proposed a bold new initiative aimed at reducing costs and promoting self-sufficiency within correctional facilities. Taxpayers' money is being wasted on overpriced food contracts and unnecessary expenses, Hunvold stated in his first public address since taking office. It is high time we rethink how we manage our correctional facilities, starting with the basics, food production. Hunvold's proposal centers on transforming prisons into self-sustaining units where inmates produce their own food. This initiative, he argues, will not only reduce cost but also provide valuable skills and work experience for prisoners, aiding in their rehabilitation and reintegration into society. We have the land, we have the labor force, and we have the opportunity to make a real difference, Hunvold explained. By teaching inmates agricultural skills and involving them in food production, we can cut down on the exorbitant cost of food procurement and simultaneously provide meaningful work that helps prepare them for life after incarceration. The proposed plan includes the establishment of prison farms and greenhouses, where inmates will definitely grow vegetables, raise livestock, and manage the entire food production process. This initiative aims to make prisons more self-reliant and environmentally sustainable. Critics of Honnevold's proposal, however, raise concerns about the feasibility and safety of such a plan. They argue that without proper oversight and training, the initiative could face significant challenges and potential risks. Additionally, there are worries about the initial investment required to set up the necessary infrastructure and training programs. Supporters, on the other hand, see the proposal as a forward-thinking solution to a long-standing problem. They argue that by reducing reliance on external contractors and teaching inmates valuable skills, the prison system can save money and better fulfill its rehabilitative role. Hunvold acknowledged these concerns but remained optimistic about the potential benefits of his proposal. There will be challenges, of course, but the potential rewards for outweigh the risk. And we must definitely be willing to innovate and take bold steps if we are to address the inefficiencies in our current system. Hence, the potential rewards outweigh the risk. The minister has called for a thorough review of the current food procurement practices and has pledged to work closely with experts in agriculture, correctional management and vocational training to develop a comprehensive implementation plan. He has also expressed his intention to pilot the initiative in select facilities before rolling it out nationwide. We need to be strategic and thoughtful in our approach. We must definitely refuse, or should I say, we cannot afford to continue with business as usual, Hodvold concluded. This is an opportunity to not only save taxpayers' money, but also to transform our correctional facilities into places of growth, learning, and positive change. So in the comment section right now, I want each and every one of you to give me your honest opinions about the way you feel and what you think about everything ongoing right now as far as the correctional services minister has what to say. Guys, I mean, yo, so much is ongoing, right? And I just keep praying and hoping for the very best. So guys, I'm going to be reading you all. Do well to take good care of yourselves.